So have you guys ever wondered how many types of window film materials are there in the market? So basically there's a lot of types of window film materials uh, but basically there is four types in terms of high heat rejection or I would say high infrared rejection film materials. So starting off with number one, we have the so-called IR films or we call them infrared films. So these kinds of films, they produce very high infrared rejection but the materials that they are using are not very durable. So how it is made is by using organic heat absorption material and most of them are placed inside the glue itself. So these kinds of film, once you put it through a tester, it shows very high infrared rejection up to 99% and they will tend to claim to you that it is a HD or high definition uh, window film. So for IR films, the infrared rejection <laughs> tend to deteriorate very fast. After just a couple of months, you will see the infrared starting to degrade and you will start feeling the heat coming through. So the materials used in these kinds of IR window films are heat absorbent. So once heat are being absorbed fully onto the glass, after some time, that heat will start to enter the car and you guys will start feeling the heat inside the cabin. Moving on to number two, we have the ceramic based film. So in the market, you got, you'll see materials claiming to be nano ceramics or nano carbon ceramics. So what these films are made of is actually using inorganic metal compounds and all these are being placed inside the PET itself which is the raw materials of window films and then how it is actually combined is by using a hot melt process so we have the heat rejection material the UV rejection material all being melted together so these kinds of film actually large way way longer it's more durable it's actually better in terms of heat rejection and also releasing of the heat from the glass so moving on to the third material that you'll find we have the sputtered ceramic films or sometimes called the hybrid films in the market so these kinds of films are actually using a nitrate or oxide coating the manufacturing process of these kinds of film materials is actually placed inside a sputtering chamber which combines uh, electrical charges and also argon gas with nitrogen or oxygen through these gases the coating retains a metal appearance but is less reflective than a metallized coating. After this process, the material itself is no longer metal, carbon or dye but instead has a non-conductive particles. Sputtered ceramic films has high heat rejection, better heat release and sputter films normally are laminated within a dye film with UV materials sometimes also mixed into the glue. The heat rejection durability will depend on the material used. Last but not least, we have the fourth material which is magnetron sputter films or also known as sputter based films in the market. So sputtering allows the manufacturer to customize a finished product with one or more metals with more control over the reflectivity and the visible light transmission. Metal particles will be sputtered onto the tin film in the sputtering chamber. The heat rejection and durability are dependent on the metal compounds and layers of sputtering process. So the more layers, the more purity, it will also mean better heat rejection. Most common metal used for window films are nickel, aluminium, titanium, silver, and etc. So in terms of materials, nickel and aluminium costs will be lowered but easily oxidized, meaning that once it is exposed to air, you will get to see oxidization around the film. Titanium has a longer lasting performance but it has a high visible light reflection meaning that once it is applied on a car, you get to see a more of a mirror effect. Silver enables high transparency and the heat reflection is actually wonderful but it's also easily oxidized hence the requirement to add an additional oxidization protection to enhance the durability performance. The cost of silver is also very expensive. Overall, Magnetron Sparter Films has the best heat reflection and the best heat release as compared to all the other film materials. Not every ceramic films are the same and not every sparter films are the same either. It is very much dependent on the material, the production process and also the machines being used to produce those films. Inorganic materials are unable to produce ultra high definition effect but it is clear enough for you to drive on the road. The most important thing is that it has a longer lasting heat rejection capability and is more suited for the Malaysian weather. 